Ladies and gentlemen, dear handball fans, welcome here to the Langsys Arena in Cologne. Welcome to the Court of the Champions. We're actually in just a few hours. The champions of the EHF Champions League season 2021 will be crowned. I'm very happy, kind of as a prelude to tonight's final um, between FC Barca and HBM. No, Alborg handball, of course. My apologies. To welcome two very distinguished guests for an exclusive handball talk. And we've invited for this morning's show, Mr. Joan Laporter, the president of FC Barcelona. Hi, good morning. And Mike Levidera, the president of the European Handball Federation. Good morning. Mr. Laporter, first question to you. You witnessed your team's win against HBC Nantes. What were your impressions, what were your feelings about this EHF Final Four yesterday? Well, we are very, very happy and very proud to be here. Yesterday we had a semi-final, a very nice semi-final against Nantes. And uh, today we know that uh, our opponent will be a, a, a big team, that he is playing very good as a team. They got uh, the final well, with, uh, after a, a tough game, like us. And, uh, well, we are confident because, you know, Football Club Barcelona, we have a great history in handball and, uh, you know, fortunately successful, successful. successful. And uh, we, we, want to, we want to continue, you know, we are supporting handball, we love handball and uh, today will be an amazing final that will be very competitive and, uh, well, we respect the opponents, of course, but we, we are confident that we could win. I guess we have um, quite a few handball fans in Barcelona looking forward to this match tonight. Um, Michael, from, from your point of view, um, and I think let's maybe focus on, we had a thousand fans present here. It was kind of maybe a first step uh, back to normality. How do you, did you see this uh, first day of the EHF Final Four 2021? I think that the whole season was uh, designated to back to the court, back to handball, strengthening our sport uh, with our presence. And I would like to use the opportunity to thank all the clubs of the Champions Leagues, both men and women, uh, for the efforts to support us. It was especially for the clubs a very tough season with all these matches to be postponed, new dates to be found, also the, the problematic situation with all the restrictions. And we managed to bring the season to a reasonable end. So I somehow do not feel that this is a start. I think we are already on the road to normality. And for me personally, uh, I can already see the Final Four 2022, which will be a great party as well. Mr. Laporta, your club has five pro professional sections, football, handball, basketball, futsal, roller hockey. And obviously, everyone knows football, for sure. Um, but all sections are kind of part of your club's DNA. What kind of role do the other sections apart from football play and how do you kind of ensure their visibility? Well, we used to say that we are more than a club and uh, our, a manner that we have to show that we are more than a club is to having uh, these uh, five sections, five professional sections. For us, uh, make us uh, unique in, in, in the world uh, as a club that is supporting uh, handball, basket, roller hockey, football, sala, and, and uh, of, of course uh, also roller hockey and, and uh, women football now. And, and uh, we are very proud about this because uh, it's the way that we show that we are more than, than a club uh, for this reason and the other reasons that, uh, well, uh, make us uh, to, to cooperate with the society, our society, because we have supporters, we, are, we have fans that are, uh, love this uh, kind of uh, sports and is the way that we have to offer them uh, a, a, as best as possible, as better as possible, a great spectacle in this uh, uh, sports. Mm. Michael, what is the, the role and the importance of a club such as uh, Barcelona for European handball for the EHF Champions League? Um, so first of all, I really appreciate to be on the field. 
it's not very often that during a tournament uh, in these functions we are we can uh, visit the the playground and how uh, somehow feel uh, how it is uh, before that we were outside at the monument uh, and I realized that this is the 12th uh, season now we are playing here uh, the all the uh, pillars with the teams having been here are visible in a very good way and then I started to count and uh, uh, Barcelona is here for the ninth time in 12 years I, th I think this says more more than any results because uh, how hard it is to qualify uh, for the final four uh, it this is obvious when you see uh, how the clubs are really fighting during a, a long season and uh, FC Barcelona is here now the ninth time so it shows that it is uh, is a club it's part of our DNA a constant uh, quality in our sport independent of individual results this is not what we are looking for we are looking for the cooperation with the clubs uh, for the essential things how to develop our sport on a top level Mr. Laporta you, you did mention Mescun club more than a club um, you as the president can I just ask you in like if you had to summarize Mescun club in one sentence what would that be more than a club in, in well that's mean that we are a club that uh, represent our country uh, Catalonia and at the same time, uh, we have a genuine style of playing sports. We are uh, taking care of our youth instructors. And, uh, you know, we have a co social commitment. These uh, aspects uh, compound the more than a club when we say we are Mescun Club. And uh, again, you know, to, to be a club that is promoting handball for years, it takes a long time that we are promoting handball uh, in a successful way. And to arrive to a final like the, today, you know, is uh, we are very proud. We trust in our players, we trust in our coach, and hope that, uh, you know, we get the, the final that, as I said, the, the, the president, Michael, that in 12 years, we've been here nine times, and we got the, 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 the trophy in two, two uh, twice. And uh, we'll hope that tonight, you know, with respect again with the opponent, you know, I'm sure that our players will do their best in order to, to get the final again. Um, Michael, I've been trying to look for a, a small equivalent to Mescon Club and the, the European Handball Federation with the start of this season has also given itself the slogan, we play handball. What does this we mean for you and and how looking a bit ahead how do you intend to kind of grow this we like the amount of people maybe who play handball in the future the we is uh, definitely targeting all the stakeholders because uh, we as an institution uh, are responsible for combining uh, the efforts, the quality of, of our national federations, of our clubs, of the leagues, the players, the, the technical uh, persons working uh, around the matches. I think uh, it is our responsibility Europe-wide to uh, collect the resources, but as well uh, to uh, provide ideas, to pri provide plans, and in this respect we have developed the master plan for the nev next seven years uh, the different pillars how to grow handball uh, it's definitely uh, like football is the, the number one outdoor sport uh, and as well a world sport from a European perspective we think that in the combination of men's and uh, women's handball we are the number one indoor sport in Europe and we want to strengthen that position and provide uh, a product handball to the market at the same time also working for Grasser. So it's a big task. Oh, we need to cooperate with all our stakeholders in that respect. And I think this is the responsibility we have. Mr. Laporta, um, you've started uh, this presidency in, in uh, March. So it's about a 
roughly 100 uh, days now. You've um, <coughs> talked about new projects. Can you give us a bit of an outlook focusing on handball, where you see and where you would like to take the, um, the handball uh, section at FC Barcelona? Well, we consider that uh, we need to renovate the, the section. Uh, and, uh, well, we decided uh, to change uh, the coach at the end of the season. Uh, this coach, uh, Xavi Pascual, I, when I was president, before I put him as a coach. And uh, he's a great coach. But, uh, you know, we were talking to him, and I think that it's better to renew the, the project. And, uh, well, mm, we are planning to incorporate a new coach for the next season, uh, replace some players, uh, just to, to, to give a new impulse to the, to the team, to the, to the group, and uh, respecting, you know, the success that uh, they had, because we appreciate and we are very grateful the work that has been done by, by Xavi Pascual and the team. But we need that the projects must be, uh, you know, updated, renovated, and uh, well, we'll see. We hope that we will take the right decisions. Uh, also, these decisions uh, nowadays is in a frame that we need to revert a, a financial situation. And we are in the process. I'm confident because Barca has a very strong assets. And in this, uh, in terms of humble, we will not reduce the budget. We will keep it the budget, and I think that we w could uh, organize a, a team very competitive uh, for uh, well uh, to 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 get uh, new new to, to get new challenge. Huh? To be here the tenth time. Uh, we will. I'm sure that we will be here because you know the team is very competitive, and the history sometimes is heavy and and is a, and a specific which in, in, in humble, international humble, specifically in European humble. And uh, I congratulate to the organization of this final four because it's unbelievable. It's, uh, we, we are not so happy because there is not uh, attendance and, um, well, the, the, this arena is not so, well, full of people. But uh, anyway, the organization, as always, the EHF uh, is great and I would like to congratulate you. Michael, um, from your point of view, what can an uh, international sports organization uh, like the European Handball Federation learn from a globally successful club such as uh, Barcelona? First of all, I think that we can learn from all functioning institutions because they may be different and they may have to comply to the conditions in their respective country uh, but uh, the, the consistency of the club to be on top for decades and this in, in, in di many different sports with all their specificities I think this is something uh, which needs a, a very good management and that's also one of the reasons why we uh, appreciate it to work with the clubs uh, sec with the club Barcelona secondly uh, I think the uh, the acquisition of uh, of experts this is something what we share because in every business you need uh, good people who are carrying the the product and uh, uh, Barcelona has a, has a good hand to integrate former players uh, uh, skilled players I mean not only skilled on the field but uh, in my opinion uh, somebody who is on the field clever on the handball field is also clever uh, afterwards and you can uh, really use the skills of these persons and therefore I think that uh, Barcelona having uh, the former players in important functions uh, are this is only on the one hand good for us uh, as a partner but on the other hand also good for the for the sport itself. Finally I would like to uh, address uh, the president also about one of our main tasks we need to motivate the clubs to have the best possible venues uh, 
because our sport is so much depending on uh, on the environment and uh, Cologne is the, the place for us because they have a perfect uh, environment and a good partnership uh, to us but uh, if in a venue you do not have the facilities uh, to uh, entertain people it's a very hard work because then you can only entertain on the field and then you only uh, r depend on the results and if you have a, a perfect facility you can make more of out, out of it. So I do hope that our top clubs are not only focusing on sporting uh, results, but as well on the environment and the development thereof. Mr. Laporta, I can uh, ask you because you have to be less neutral. Uh, who wins tonight? I know that we will do the, our best in order to, to win. And uh, I'm sure that there will be a great final. Uh, the Alborg, I'm sure that they will pay, play as a team, as a, they used to do it. And now our players are very competitive and you know they are focused because they uh, get a, a wonderful season if they win the final because we have won, we have won the, the Spanish league and, and uh, you know we are really really motivated the cup, the King's Cup as well and uh, well there will, be, there will be a great season. And, you know, it's a kind of, uh, to, to recognize this great team that during 10 or more years, they are, you know, doing very well. But as I said, they need, uh, I think that the, the section needs a new impulse, keeping the competitiveness. And I, I'm very, very, you know, excited about the, the present and future of the, of the Humboldt Football Club Barcelona. Thank you very much. I guess, Michael, you're also looking forward to tonight, huh? Absolutely, you know, I'm such a, a handball fan to myself that I'm always nervous during the final, independent of the of the winner. But uh, it's the atmosphere, and when I walk downstairs during the last minutes of the game, just for handing over the trophy, it's a very special <laughs> moment. And only when you are uh, waiting there, last uh, last two three minutes, you can feel how much tension, how hot it is on on the court because of the uh, activities. So I'm really looking looking forward to this moment as well and I really do expect an exciting final match today. Well, I guess we have uh, thousands of uh, handball fans in Barcelona, in Spain, in Aalborg, in Denmark looking forward to this final. So I would like uh, to thank very much uh, Mr. Joan Laporta. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you very Michael much. Vidura, thank you for being with us this morning. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you don't go away too far because in just under four hours we have the match for third place between Paris and Nantes and obviously at six o'clock we have the final Barcelona versus Alborg. Looking forward to seeing you there again. The players will be here right on this court. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>